Hi guys, um, this is the second part of the uh, screencast about uh, how to create a contact form, HTML PHP contact form. And uh, in the previous screencast we've just uh, created uh, our new HTML file and uh, added uh, a form with the help of the opening form and closing form tags. And apart from that we also added uh, one input and that was this one for a text field. As you can see, name, and here is the uh, text field. Now we're gonna add a few more input uh, items and uh, create a send button in order to um, send our uh, data from the contact form. So I'm going back to the site and I'm just copying the next chunk of code just like that and uh, pasting in here. Alright. So what we got here is um, uh, the first the first part is for inserting the uh, the email uh, text field. Yeah, and by the way, if you click on the right hand side, we're gonna see the um, the new text fields, just like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, and by the way, as you can see, uh, they are not exactly uh, properly uh, properly placed. So I'm gonna add br slash over here and I'm also gonna close the code here and add one more br slash. Alright, now it's properly um, placed. As a matter of fact, it's the same idea that was used here in our first uh, input uh, item. I mean there is this, uh, for example, this label tag for uh, the name of the new text field and the closing label tag and within the label tag uh, we have the uh, for attribute with the with a value that should be repeated in the actual uh, input item for example ID as you can see it says for field email and in the uh, input type text um, line it also says ID with the same value field uh, email as in the for attribute uh, for the uh, label tag. So it's the same idea. So just make sure that you repeat uh, the values in uh, your label tag and your input tags. So that's that's pretty much what you need to, uh, to keep an eye on. Apart from that we also specify the name for the new field for the um, email uh, field and the name is sender email sender underscore email and it's gonna be the, uh, the variable that's gonna be sent to uh, PHP for processing. And uh, in this, yeah, let's just delete this uh, space here, uh, just like that. Yeah, and in this uh, chunk of code, again, the same idea. Uh, first off, we specify the label uh, with the uh, for attribute, and the value for the attribute is uh, field phone. Then goes the actual name of the text field and the closing label tag. Um, and uh, in the input um, tag we have the type which is text actually is the same uh, throughout all these items then the ID is the same as the uh, for attribute for label field phone field phone and by the way if you uh, don't know what it does just uh, go back to uh, um, t uh, the first part of the screencast and uh, it's, it's explained right there now uh, yeah it also has a unique name which is sender phone and again uh, this value will be turned into variable for PHP processing. Okay, so these are the three fields that we've added and uh, if we go to live view uh, we can see how it works. So you can just click on the name and this text field gets highlighted. If you click on your email the appropriate text field highlights as well and the same goes for phone. So that's uh, the uh, user friendliness of uh, this uh, this label tag. That's why actually we implemented it in order to be able to uh, click on on a text and get the appropriate uh, text field highlighted just like that. Okay let's go back to the site and uh, add one more text field and it's gonna be uh, the text field for our um, message uh, field where, where the user can input uh, his or her message. So the same principle here, uh, we use the label tag 
the closing, uh, the opening label tag and the closing label tag with the attribute 4 which is uh, set to field message and uh, then goes then we uh, define the uh, text field text area and by the way keep in mind that you should uh, have uh, the opening text area tag with some parameters and the closing text area tag so that's uh, the proper way of doing that and by the way for some for some reason I miss the um, the closing sign all the time and let's add one more br slash as well like that okay so this is our new text area and um, yeah it has the four attribute field message and in the text area tag we have the ID with the same value so the same idea here and uh, as in the previous cases we also have the name attribute with the with a with, with its own unique parameter name which will be turned into a variable for PHP processing which is sender underscore message and now let's go back to uh, the site and uh, finally add a send button to our form so I'm copying going here and right before the closing form tag I'm adding the uh, the submit button just click on the right hand side and you'll see the submit button so what it has it has the um, uh, the input tag and then the input type is specified which is uh, submit we also give uh, um, a name to the button which will be again uh, turned into a, a PHP variable for processing on the server and the name of this button is send message and the value actually what is uh, displayed uh, in the browser send is specified right here so we can ch change it to uh, I don't know go okay if you click here you'll see that it has uh, uh, the new value here but we're gonna we're gonna change it back to the default one so it's gonna say send okay and uh, that's the um, uh, that's all what you need to do for uh, basically creating your form in HTML in the upcoming screencast you're gonna see how to create um, a PHP file in order to make this form really work. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.